Hello everyone, Traveler's Chosen, the exotic sidearm, is now available to earn. There are two parts to this quest. The first part was available a little while ago where you had to visit four of the destinations that are being vaulted with Beyond Light, Titan, Mercury, Io, and Mars. They were not the most eventful of tasks, and I'm here to report that the second half of this quest is also not very eventful. Trust me when I say that unless you started playing at the beginning of September, that you do not need this guide, and I use the word guide very loosely. This quest line is designed to give people one last hurrah by doing a variety of things on each destination. If you've been playing for a long time, again, you don't need this guide, and this is basically gonna be about one and a half to two hours of busy work. However, you will be given the following Nightfall weapons during this quest. DFA from Mercury, Silicon Neroma from Io, Braytech Osprey from Mars, and Duty Bound from Titan. Zavala will also give you a Mindbender's Ambition if you somehow don't have one of those by now. If you're missing one of those weapons, perhaps for Wayfarer or to complete your collection, you might want to do this for a very easy way to get them. You're going to start on Io, where you'll need to do a Lost Sector, killing a special boss at the end. Then you'll run the Pyramidian Strike, and then you will do an adventure on Heroic Mode. You can select this strike straight from the menu, and you'll be able to do this with all of the strikes that you will eventually need to do. Talk to Asher Mir when you are done, and you'll go to the next destination. You're going to repeat this process on three other destinations. Titan will have you run a Lost Sector, kill some named targets in the Solarium and Festering Halls, and then run Savathun's Song. Good to have you back. On Mercury, you'll run both of the strikes back to back, you'll run a Heroic Adventure, and then talk to Brother Vance. And on Mars, you will activate a node near the start of Mind Lab Rasputin. You'll do five waves of Escalation Protocol, and then you will do an adventure. After that, you will head back to Zavala, and you will get Travelers Chosen, just like that. Again, all this will take you about one and a half to two hours, going at a decent speed. Couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, for most of the strikes, you need to kill specific targets, like for example, knights, wizards, and ogres in Savathun's Song. If you skip a bunch of the strike and skip a bunch of the enemies, you are going to miss out on those kills. You can just wipe in the boss room if need be, but if you're solo queue, just make sure you're killing what you need to kill. Second thing to keep in mind is that the adventures are not the typical small red icon that you normally find. They are the big blue crown icons that are found on the director map. As for the weapon itself, it is a 300 RPM sidearm, semi-automatic, with 15 shots per reload. Gathering Light is the core perk where kills give you Gathering Light. Gathering Light while stacked gives you bonus reload, handling, and target acquisition, stacking up to 10 times. Then, if you hold reload while you have stacks of Gathering Light, you will consume the stacks, restoring grenade, melee, and class ability energy based on how many stacks you have. 10 stacks is basically a full restoration, with 8 or 9 stacks also doing the job or at least getting very close to it. Reload at full stacks is pretty speedy as well. Stacks of light are not lost when you swap weapons. This weapon has some potential in ability-based builds for sure. In fact, it's technically among the best because of how much energy you can restore with you being able to fully restore your abilities from zero. You could do something like back-to-back -back oppressive darkness for a super long debuff on an enemy. You could accelerate your top tree Dawnblade energy regen. There are multiple roles to fill with this gun. With stasis coming, there is potential there as well. Multiple freezing effects going off, building multiple grenade walls. A lot of interesting things that you can do. And I fully expect people to find some pretty niche builds that will work out very well going into the future. I don't think the average player is going to be throwing this on over top tier items available, but give it some time for people to experiment, and I think something interesting can show up. How viable that interesting build will be is obviously unknown, but interesting is definitely possible. As far as the performance of the weapon itself goes, well, it's a, it's a 300 RPM sidearm. It's good for killing trash tier enemies in low difficulty content, 
but I don't see a lot of use outside of that happening. Again, until there are some maybe better builds found for it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.